what's good, y'all? Welcome to my review for this week's episode of My Hero Academia Season 3, nigga, I say. Oh, my God. This episode... This episode was fucking phenomenal. So I, like, I didn't expect much. I thought this was going to be like more like a chill episode. Yeah, we would get the aftermath, see you know what's going to happen later on. For but no. Nah, this episode was like, oh, the coach was like, nah, man. This ain't more than me. I'm going to be like, ah, I'm going to be hitting you with that shit. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn, this episode was phenomenal. I did not expect to be this uh, amazing. But hey, here all is fucking phenomenal. So yeah, let us begin. So he starts off, we got these guys and Stu's are talking about, like, you know, about everything that's went down, you know, what they can see, they haven't really got much other no moves, you know, investigation, you know, all might be in, you know, um, all might be in, you know, um, losing his, losing one for all, all that shit. Not much what happens other than the top of, like, you know, okay, okay, what should we do next? About, you know, the League of Villains, they get stronger time they fail, blah, 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 there's not, not that much. Um, so after that, we then see All my he's in the hospital along with, um, Grant Rito and that uh, cop, I forget his name, and they're really talking about, hey, um, about, you know, of course, you know, about, uh, to about, you know, Shigaraki being related to Shimura, and, you know, um, all this stuff, and she, and then we learned that pretty much, um, that she didn't want them have, they didn't have any contact with her family because, uh, she wanted, like, sh like, her husband died, and when she, when that happened, she put her child into foster care to keep him away from the hero world, and that blew up in her face, <laughs> and of course, you know, and so they did, and she told her, like, you know, don't have any, doesn't really want any contact with them, even if the worst happens to her, like, you know, of course she dies. So, because of that, you know, Shimura Shigaraki ended up becoming a villain. The irony of that is ridiculous about, you know, Shimura, uh, you know, Shimura being the symbol of peace, and then her grandson Shigaraki is, like, the symbol of evil, I guess. <laughs> now, after all, for one, it's kind of like, you know, chilling in prison. So, yeah. And so after that, we then see X. We got the Todoroki's place. He's finished walking to tell him we see her sister again. I was completely forgot that was his sister. I was like, who are you? Because, like, we haven't seen her, like, last time. So we, she had, like, one cameo appearance in, like, season two. But yeah, I wonder if she's actually going to have, like, a major role later on in the series. Or at least, like, I don't know. She, like, out of helps out Todoroki, like, submission or something. I mean, I'm game if that does happen. Just, you know, see another one of Tod see that one of Endeavor's children, see how they fight. But uh, I'm not going to sleep. We never really see her in action at all. And she just kind of like, you know, hey, Todoroki. Like, she has, like, those little appearances here and there, but not really much. And so she talks about like, how she was worried like, about, you know, about the she had didn't answer his messages. After she saw Ma. So I was like, yeah. And then we hear a bunch of shit going. And then we hear, like, some boom. And so, yeah, he came home a little while ago, and he's been pretty bad. And then we see the training room. Uh, we see Deborah over there with fi fires everywhere, holes in the floor. Like, he's like, I will not accept this. How can I accept this? I will not accept this. You know, he'll be pissed off that he couldn't defeat all my dick. I'm there here, and he's just that all for one of the, the um, what, that he's the number one hero by default. How is he even that high up when he's this much of an ass? Like, eh, whatever. We'll maybe find out later on in the series. And so after that, we then have a Deku, where he see, you know, he, he comes home, you know, his mom's like, oh, hi, hi, oh, you probably have to start to get home. And then as soon as he gets home, he goes down his bed, looks at his phone, like, you know, scrolls through, like, you know, what's going on in the news, talking about All Might, and then he falls asleep, wakes up, and he, and he gets messages from All Might, and Deku just runs out of his house. He's like, and then mom's like, hey, dinner's over, yeah, later. And then... <laughs> This part was just this part just had me die. This part was just hilarious. And so, you know, he comes running over to all and she's like, Oh my And he's like and then <laughs> All Might's running like that it's like it's like some old romance movie and then once again close he says Texas Smash <laughs> Yeah, that was hilarious. Like, yeah, all that happened. Because, like, it, like it, it, they filmed it and it was directed like it was like some old romance. And you go, ah, it's you, it's you. They're like running in slow mo. It was hilarious to watch. But it's super. When they do get down there, uh, but when after that, that's when shit gets serious. And you know, all that goes off about, you know, I told you. I told you you never listened to me. I told you not to go. I told you you keep hurting yourself. And and then, you know, when he looks like he's right back to him again, he like ends up just hugging him and telling him, like, you know, now that I'm pretty much retired, I'm going to dedicate all my all, my all to raising you and having you become the symbol of peace. Now, cause like, the, like all my said last episode, it's his turn now. He's the symbol of peace. In training, I guess. So I guess all by so I guess I guess you just say Endeavor just like keeping his seat warm I guess, <laughs> and so you know Deku starts crying and then you know all my also sheds a tear like it was a great moment 
uh, the music was great, like, in the voice, and also, guys, I forgot to mention this, but, yeah, same day sign with those, they're done, we're done, we're not getting them, they're being delayed by two weeks again, which I was like, come on, Funimation, why two, I mean, yeah, you delayed TG by a week, why couldn't you do the same for, I mean, if it's just to keep so we have a higher, a high quality of the dub work keep going, and that we don't reduce quality, but, because, like I said, because, like, if you guys saw my previous reviews in the season, you guys know that the Funimation has been killing it with the English dub. So if that if it's for quality purposes, fine. I'll take the L on this one. But this was one of the worst I was, I was I was like, okay, whatever. I already got my feel. I think that was like the best dub the the anime had to offer was you know with like um um all you know uh, muscular versus all uh, Deku and All Might versus All for One. But now nah. this is another episode. Where I was like, God damn it! I wish this was dubbed. God damn, I wish I had the dub for this episode. Like, oh my god, this episode was so damn good. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, all my like, so yeah. After all my says, you know, he says like, you know, I'm going to uh, dedicate my all to raising you, and of course, you know, training you and having you become my successor. And like, oh, the music, oh, the voice that was spectacular. Um, we then go back. Uh, to the principal's office, where he talks about, you know, about, you know, how people are not, or kind of, like, un uneasy about, you know, what's gonna happen now that the, that All Might is gone, and then he talks, and then the principal, uh, does, uh, pretty much in instigates or tells people something he's been a thing about why, which was a dorm system, so that, you know, uh, all the kids live in a dorm, like, you know, a college or something. Which, yeah, I can definitely see why that's definitely good. I mean, with all that shit going down, you probably should keep all the students in one, uh, one location to help them, you know, train a lot more and all that shit. So then they go start going door to door between the different houses, and they first start off at uh, Jiro's place. You know your phone with Jack girl, uh, where <laughs> her father's like, you know, oh, TX so strict. But then when as soon as Jiro comes out with some tea, she says like, oh yeah, he already agreed to it. He's just acting tough. And you know it's like you know it's also like when you know when All Might was facing against All for One, he was like crying and had his electric like, guitar out. Be like, yeah, All Might, like <laughs> uh, it was hilarious. And so, you know, they agree, they're like, yo, but oh man, come on, Jiro, I'm trying to, like, yo, be over here, like, you know, the strict baron, well, but, yeah, doesn't do that. So after they get, so they get the okay from Jiro, they get all that stuttered out, and then they get to Bakugo's place. <laughs> oh, and this time we finally see, you know, the reveal of Bakugo's mom, which if you've been here a lot, you probably have heard about people saying about how hot Bakugo's mom is. Me, personally, I think she, uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, she's okay. So far, I'm going to say I'd probably rate her, if I had to rate her out of 10, um, uh, 7, most likely. Like, great, I'm just going off this one interaction. I mean, like, I'm not really in the middle and all, honestly, guys. So, I mean, would I smash? Probably. If I got to know her a little bit more. <laughs> Hopefully we do see more of her, and then maybe I can raise, I can raise it up to where I can see why everyone's just gushing about Bossy Girls Muggles. They always like, like, how hot she is, all that shit. Wait, and we also find out where Baku got his personality from, which was his mom. Seriously. <laughs> she keeps hitting him with the back of the head constantly, telling him, like, you know, this. And then Baku's like, shut up, old woman, don't hit me. And then she hits him. <laughs> this was just later to see, like, you know, she's like, telling him, like, shut up. If you're not talk, talk, no, talk clearly. And then we see Tech Baku's father. And he's like, and he's like, everybody calm down. Like, he ain't going at it, like those two are. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, we know who wears the pants in this relationship. Who's We know who's the bottom bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I saw, I could, like, oh, the only thing I think uh, we can tell that Bongo inherited from his father was his hair. Like, he has his, like, he has his father's hair, so his mom, um, hair color, and her personality. <laughs> it was hilarious to see those two just, <laughs> just go at it. That was a, uh, that just had me, that had me die. That had me die. And so he tells her the same thing, and then she agrees, and she also, and she also thanks him for you know not losing faith in Bakugo on the television. We told her, like you know that oh yeah he won't betray. He's like he works twice as hard as everyone else, maybe besides Deku, uh, to become the number one hero. And she's like you know thank you for that, and then you know they like she grabs Bakugo's head and like forces him to bow, and they both bow, saying you know thank you, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> and so then they leave, and which is when Bakugo shows up, uh, comes out. He's like you know hey all my, what is Deku to you? And he, of course, just says, you know, oh, yeah, he's a student that's very promising like you, Bakugo. And, you know, all my has in trouble all along. And he also says about, like, how, why is this, like, he's like, like the, the darkness, he's, like, saying, why is this family so dark when, you know, Bakugo and his mom were going at it around when we first met him, or something along those lines that was hilarious. All my, <laughs> yeah, I'm just confused, like, what the hell is up with this family? Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. 
about uh, Bakko, where he t tells him, and then uh, All Might tells him, like, you know, he's just, um, like, you know, he's promising, you know, promising hero, blah, 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 and so I'm sorry, Bakko, I can't tell you more, and, and Bakko realizes that he's not telling him the truth, like, he knows, he's like, all right, if you don't want to tell me, that's cool, that's fine, and it was mom's yelling at him, they're like, Bakko, the police told you not to come out, not to go outside, and he's like, I'm coming, <laughs> Uh, I cannot wait to listen to this episode because, like, uh, I cannot wait to see those two going at it in English too. Cause it's gonna just be hilarious to watch. Like, and so after that, we then get to Deku's place, where a lot of stories. This is what I was like. This is what I was. This is what part of the episode where I was like, "Holy shit, this episode is fucking amazing." Like, this is what I was like, "Oh my god, hey, Kodakoshi, my boy, my dude, yo." <laughs> You're like you're making like every almost every episode has been like yo it's been just as good as like you know I didn't expect an episode to like problem I thought that that was going to be like you know a chill episode we see it's like you know we see the aftermath but nothing really that major I'm gonna be like oh my god this episode's fucking amazing like I'm like it's like up there with like you know the all for one stuff and you know uh, Deku vs Muscular but uh, for this season but nah here. And that's when I realized, oh my god, this episode was just up there with those guys. Cause like this, like this is one, this is what this part right here ascended the the this episode to like uh, you know to get like a higher rating from me just from this part alone with um Deku and uh, Deku, his mom and uh, All Might, and All Might does a solo. He doesn't bring you know Racer right? cause you know, and so they so De All Might walks to the door and then he knocks on then you know his mom and Deku are both like. It's Oh my! I don't know. He's like, his, and Deku's like, Mom, calm down. And they're like both shaking. <laughs> and then you know, we see Deku all my run, uh, kind of like you know, go through the house. He sees Deku's room. He's probably freaked out by how much of a fanboy is. Like, Shoot, the man has so many fucking posters of him and figures of All Might. It's ridiculous. And so they both sit down at the table where he relays the news about about um, this about you know the dorms and. And I even predicted this a few episodes back when they first talked about this. And his mom actually um, declines. She doesn't want him going. Now, like I said, I predicted this a few weeks back. I predicted that something like this would happen because, like, you know, when I... Uh, what, what episode was it? 16? Uh, no, not 16. What was it? Uh, whatever episode it was, what, 6? Uh, you guys know that I predicted that something like this would happen after, you know, when his mom said, you know, do you have to go to UA? Um, cause like I said, in my review, I predict something like, Horiko Shane just gonna put this in here, drop the scene, have nothing happen to it. Like, no, no, no. This is going to grow, and it's gonna have something major happen. Which is right now. Like I said, I predicted this. And so, she says no because she worries too much about him, and she also like, you know, how he's like always, every time I, when I saw him, every time I see him, he's always hurting himself, and like, you know, his quirk about, about, you know, when his quirk finally appeared, all that shit. And so... She says no, like all, and like she asks him again, does it have to be UA? There's a bunch of hero, uh, hero courses. I don't trust you guys with my son. And you know, Deku leaves the room like an angsty teen almost, and then he comes back with the note that Kota gave to him and said, thank you for saving my ass. Uh, and so, you know, he reads it to her and tells her, like, you know, this boy told, like, you know, same, he made me his hero, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, like, uh, and, you know, Deck, and, like, the voice acting, oh, my God, the voice acting, spot on, it was phenomenal, and we also see All Might also go muscular mode a few times in this episode, but he lost all for one, so, can he still do that, but he just doesn't really have the four, but, like, how does he still go buff when he doesn't have one for all, um, whatever, maybe Chibo will probably, well, Chibo will probably explain this in his review when he, uh, releases it, anyway, and so after, you know, that uh, All Might goes buff mode and, you know, he likes to goes down on his hands and knees, you know, the full uh, bow thing. It tells her, like, you know, I'm sorry that I was cutting cores. I'm sorry that, um, um, that you know, of course, that he's been hurting himself. I will do much better next time. I will do better. Like, don't look at out. I know, understand why, you're, why your life is with a UA. But look at UA, not as where its present is, but what its future is. I will, I will dedicate my whole life now. To raising Deku and having him become my successor, and all, and Deku's mom is just like shocked at hearing this. She's like, "Wait, what? You're a successor?" And she's like shocked, and he's like saying, "Like, I will protect him and raise him, even if I have to give my life for it." And she like falls out of her knees. She was probably like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! Nobody is dying!" Like I was like, "That is like the most shonen thing I've ever heard." Like, you know, I will protect him with my life, you know, Andrea. Like that's like the most shonen thing I've heard a mentor say. And she says, like, you know, no, don't die, please. But, uh, you know, live a prosperous life, you know, protect my son, train him, 
um, under you and, you know, have him become this hero that he wants to be. And she also talks about, and we all see some flashbacks um, to when Deku was a kid, you know, when he was, like, you know, when he dressed up as All Might one and his mom had, like, a blanket over her. And, of course, the scene uh, about, you know, when she said, you know, I'm sorry, Deku, from season one. And, you know, she tells, like, you know, okay, I will, I'll let you do this. And she tells Deku, you know what this means, right? She's like, yes. And he, like, you know, wipes away his tears. He's saying, like, yes, I won't make you worry. Which I'm like, bullshit, my dude. Like, dude, have you forgotten what your occupation is? Your mom is going to worry. <laughs> Stop lying. Like, I, like, this episode was, like, and that, like, that part was right there was just, uh, that, that was just phenomenal right there. Like, oh, my God. Like, oh. Uh, like, I just love the flashbacks they put in there, you know. Um, and Deku mom's and um, mom's uh, yeah, yeah. and Deku's mom realizing like, you know Deku really wants this like she knows like she said even though I I like she knows how hard he wants it, and she's like okay she has finally trusted all my like you know from what he has said you know training him and you know having him so he stops hurting himself when he uses one for all it was just ugh. I was loving the art animation was time the voice I think was great you know. Actually, while well, uh, All Might's going on, it's about to feel like, no, I won't pretend to be actually uh, deep. He goes back to his true form midway through, and, and uh, Oh, my God, this episode was just, you know, like, that scene right there was just, uh, that made the episode for me. That, uh, like, uh, I love that scene. That scene was just, ah, uh, man, like, uh, Bones, Ornikoshi, y'all, <laughs> this is too much, guys. Like, uh, y'all keep dropping these amazing, amazing episodes. Huh? I'm just like, my God, well, you want to y'all relax. Granted, I've heard the manga hasn't really been doing much lately from, like, friends of mine that, have, that are manga. So, like, oh, yeah, this part was kind of boring. So, I guess it will calm down later on. Because I heard apparently it's like, like, after One for All, that was, like, the height of the series. And it's kind of been just kind of, like, slowly going down. Um, not, not downhill, like, in quality, but, like, you know, just, like, not shit is hitting the fan as much, apparently. Uh, from what I've heard. And, yeah, like, that scene was just phenomenal. Like, the animation, I just love how, you know, we see how much, um, All Might has grown, Deku has grown, you know, Deku's mom realized, like, okay, he really wants to be a hero. He even says, like, I don't care. I don't care where it is. I'm still gonna be a hero no matter what. And, you know, she finally agrees to letting him go to the dorms. And yeah, and then at the end of the episode, we see um, All for One, that theme, though. Oh my god, that theme. That theme. Oh my god, that suits him. He talks about, you know, oh, you know, that I'm, uh, I'm still here, you know, All Might failed to kill me, I guess. And he talks about how it's your turn, Shikaraki. He uses pretty much the same line All Might used. Last week, he says, like, it's your turn now. But this time, it's all it's all for one telling that to Shikaraki. Where we see the rest of the like, I don't even know where they're at. Like, it looks like they're at like at his like office or something. Judging from how small it looks, I don't know. But yeah, that's something where the episode ends with like you know with, with like a close of a Shikaraki. And um, you know, and that was like I think that was actually after the credits when that happened. But yeah, and yeah, I don't think I forgot to say anything. I think that's pretty much everything that happened. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's everything that happened. So yeah, overall, like I said, this episode was fucking phenomenal. I did not expect it to be that good, but hey. When I saw, you know, the stuff with Deku's mom, where I tried to predict something like that would happen later on in the series, I, I, I was right. So, yeah. Overall, I guess episode a 10 out of 10. Like I said, guys, this episode was fucking amazing. Ugh, oh, Horikoshi. Y'all do too much. So, yeah. So, hope you guys are looking forward to where it looks like next week we're going to see... Like, I think, like, next week's probably going to be, like, the chill episode. Or we'll see the characters just, you know, getting used to the doors. We might get some more setup, but I don't think it's going to be like, oh, my God. My heart, emotions, yes! So, yeah. So, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it. Links are just below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.